okay so let's start the class uh, today we will just uh, go for a very important grammatical topic that is right use of verbs and I think uh, sometimes students ask me what topic seems to be the uh, hardest one to you right so I, in that case my answer is of course the right use of verbs and I think uh, the right use of verbs is the really the most important grammatical topic of English language and of course uh, you have to learn it very properly otherwise uh, it will be very tough for you to use the verb correctly and if you make any kind of mistake in using the right form of verbs absolutely your answer will be wrong that's why uh, you must be very careful about using the verb correctly in the in the sentence okay you see in this sentence there is a conjunction after and there are two verbs one is went and the one is have one is went and the one is have so you see the first one went is a finite verb and have is again a finite verb because there is a conjunction if there is a conjunction and this conjunction adds two verbs then two verbs will be finite one okay <coughs> finite passive right finite verb th that is passive that's good good answer uh, passive so what is the tense now the question what is the tense of this verb i'm giving you some of the options are there so the first one is had second one is was having and the third one here you see was had and the fourth one is was being had and the fifth one is has been ha had been having and the next one here you see had been had so which one is the correct answer probably there is a right answer and one answer is correct so which one is that okay let's see the answer but before uh, looking at the answer we will get the explanation okay we will go for the explanation now so look at the diagram this is very important thing especially for your right use of verbs this is so uh, so small one indeed but of course this is the most important for uh, using uh, for correct uh, for the correct or right use of the verb okay so what is that diagram you just look at, look at uh, this diagram in the first here you see this uh, if your verb is in the finite form that means if your verb is finite then you will go for two other uh, types of questions the second one is whether the verb what is the tense of that verb what is the tense of that verb and then you will go you will have to go for whether the verb is active or passive so now uh, let's clear the explanation so what is a finite verb now the question what is a finite verb of course a finite verb is the verb without which a sentence cannot be made okay that means finite verb bad dile sentence ortho prokash korte pare na tale finite verb eman ekta verb je verb bad dile sentence ortho prokash korte pare na for example if i say i saw him going so in this sentence there are two verbs one is saw and the one is going so in this sentence you see saw is a finite verb and going is a non finite verb because uh, if we just reduce or if we just deduct going from this sentence then we will get i saw him which is absolutely right sentence because this sentence has one finite verb that is saw but if i just reduce one verb saw from this sentence and i write down i him going that will not be a sentence indeed why because there is no finite verb okay that means we come to conclusion that without a finite verb we cannot make a sentence without a finite verb we cannot make a sentence but without a non finite verb we can make a sentence as uh, we see there are two con uh, there are two verbs and one conjunction is there so of course this verb is a finite verb because without this verb we cannot make the sentence okay and if it is a finite verb then we will go for the tense and from the conjunction after we came to know about the tense because after after I mean after it for a the verb will be the past perfect tense and before 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 I put the past perfect tense of it so we have got the tense what is the tense past perfect tense okay then we will go for whether the verb is active or passive okay so you look at the verb again have dinner roche tar age shobdo ta ebong dinner kintu nije khacche na onno keu dinner ta ke khacche okay that means ei verb ta o kintu ashole passive e roche ei verb ta passive hole amra conclusion e pouchhachi je past perfect tense ebong verb ta hocche je ekta passive form e ache okay that means 
পাস পারফেক্ট টেন্সে প্যাসিভ বানাতে হলে আমাদের হ্যাড এর পরে একটা বিন বসাতে হবে এবং তারপরে ভার্বের পাস পারফেক্ট ফর্ম বসাতে হবে সো অটোমেটিক্যালি देयर উইল কাম হ্যাড আর বিন হ্যাড আর বিন আমি নিয়ে নিলাম এবার দেখি লুক অ্যাট দা ভার্ব হ্যাভ হ্যাভ এর পাস পারফেক্ট ফর্ম হচ্ছে হ্যাড সো অ্যাবসলিউটলি योर आंसर इज करेक्ट दोस हु हैव रिटन डाउन हैड बीन हैड इज द राइट आंसर सो दैट मींस वी केम टू नो अबाउट हाउ टू यूज अ फाइनाइट वर्ब in a sentence okay perhaps it's clear to you if you have any question you can just write it down a key related to finite verb is the verb that can make the sentence and that has been changed according to person and tense wow wonderful right ha ami ekta add kore dite chai je finite verb hocche je finite verb er tinta we have three important characteristics of finite verb and one is that without finite verb we cannot make any sentence first second thing is that finite verb changes according to the person and number of subject number third is finite verb is changed according to tense so all this perhaps very clear this three characteristics a finite verb has and of course if you think there are three characteristics in, uh, of a verb is present there are present there so of course that verb is a finite verb and yes absolutely your answer is right that is a finite verb that is the passive form that's why your answer is had been had is absolutely right next uh, i will just show you a machine so have you uh, heard this uh, different uh, you have heard different types of machines names of different types of machines but today you will just be familiar with one type of very special machine that is used in english language and the name of that machine is ruv machine and ruv machine means right use of verb machine okay so why should i call it or why should we call it a machine whenever uh, you think uh, if you go to a factory or company you will see that uh, there are some products which is called the raw materials and these raw materials are actually put into the machine and at the last moment you will see that some products will come out from that for example if you uh, want to uh, see a, a factory of biscuit factory then you will see the wheat there are different types of ingredients those are which are needed to make the uh, make the biscuit okay so she ingredients kulo machine er modhe dewa hoy and after that after a certain time we get the product okay but we we have to go through some of the phases in that machine okay machine e koyekta porjay par hoye ashole amader ekta product toiri hoy to amra dhore nao je right to verbs ei machine ta use korbo ebong ei machine tar moddhe amra prothome verb jeta ke ingredient বলছি যেটা সেই ভার্বটা আমরা পুট করব ইনপুট করব এবং দেখব যে এট দা রাইট এট দা লাস্ট আমরা যে প্রোডাক্টটা পাবো সেটা হচ্ছে দা রাইট ফর্ম অফ ভার্বস দ্যাটস হোয়াই আই কল ইট আ রাইট ইজ ওয়ার্স মেশিন আর ইউ বি মেশিন ওকে সো লেটস বি ফ্যামিলিয়ার উইথ দা মেশিন সো ফার্স্ট অফ অল ইফ ইউ গেট আ ভার্ব ইন আ সেন্টেন্স এন্ড ইউ হ্যাভ টু ইউজ ইট करेक्टली সো ইন দ্যাট কেস দা ফার্স্ট থিং ইউ উইল হ্যাভ টু ডিভাইড দিস ভার্ব ইন টু পার্ট এন্ড ওয়ান ইজ ফাইনাইট এন্ড দা ওয়ান ইজ নন ফাইনাইট ভার্ব ওকে so uh, these two groups one is finite and the perhaps you get your verb you give your give your uh, ingredient that means upadan jeta jeta diye tumi right to verb toiri korbe sei tumi product ta ekhane input dicho right so verb er moddhe input dewar pore eta dui dike jabe hoy eta finite verb er ghore jabe othoba non finite verb er ghore jabe okay ebong ghore jabe na ei machine tar ekta boishishto hocche je eta automatically kaaj kore na eta tumake eta diye kaaj koriye nite hoy right that's why uh, a machine is too tough <coughs> okay so verb ta ke ami jokhon input korlam tokhon ashole eta dui ta group e gelo ekta finite ekta non finite ekhon proshno hocche je eta kokhon finite hobe kokhon non finite hobe ami kintu explanation diye diyechi abar ektu mone koriye dite chaichi je finite verb hocche sei verb ja bad dile sentence ortho prokash korte pare na finite verb tense onujayi poribortito hoy finite verb subject er person ebong number onujayi poribortito hoy bas tumar verb ta jodi sei dhoroner hoy tahole that verb will go to this phase and another phase is non finite verb so this time if you think that your verb doesn't have or any of these three characteristics okay your verb will go to that part that means a non finite form verb chole jabe okay so if i give for example if i give one verb is there so i say uh, he uh, you saw me teaching uh, in the class okay tale you saw me teaching in the class okay 
uh, that means in this sentence if i just think about the verb see then ami see ta ke ekhane input korchi tahole kon ghore jabe eta finite er ghore jabe na non finite er ghore jabe eta see verb ta ke ami jodi ekhane input kori tahole eta obosshoi finite verb e ghore jabe because see verb is the finite verb see verb bad dile eta sentence kono ortho prokash korte pare na ebong see verb tense ebong onujayi poribortito hoy dekho see verb ta hocche in the present tense in the bracket and you will have to make it as past indefinite tense so ami kintu teaching verb er poriborton korchi na ekhane see verb e poriborton korchi that's why e see verb ta finite er ghore jabe फेलिफाई তোমার কিন্তু দুইটা প্রশ্ন ইউ উইল হ্যাভ টু আস ইয়োরসেলফ টু কোয়েশ্চেনস অন হোয়াট আর দোজ দ্য ফার্স্ট ওয়ান হোয়াট ইজ দ্য টেন্স অফ দিস ভার্ব এই ভার্বের টেন্স কি এখন তুমি ইফ ইউ জাস্ট আস্ক মি দ্যাট আই ডোন্ট নো দ্য স্ট্রাকচারস অফ টেন্স এন্ড আই ডোন্ট নো হাউ টু আইডেন্টিফাই আ টেন্স ইট উইল বি ভেরি টাফ ফর মি টু টিচ ইউ আ রাইট ইজ ভার্বস ওকে সো ইউ উইল হ্যাভ টু লার্ন ইট uh the these two forms of codes of the tense what is in the active form and what is in the passive form suppose if i uh, see if i tell you what in he plays cricket so plays is a verb which is active right and what is the passive of it is played or i am played or are played is the right answer okay that means uh tumari prottekta verb er active form passive form ta kintu bhalo kore jante hobe it's a prior uh it a prerequisite or the precondition just to uh, just to be well or good at uh, right is of verbs okay probably i thought you know them okay tumi seta jano tahole ami tar pore next question you will have to ask yourself whether the verb what is the verb uh, whether the verb is in the active or verb is in the passive and this is so easy and simple thing that means ekta verb er ager je shobdo ta ache seta lokkho korbe so you look at the word that is given just before the verb and if you think that the verb is done by that subject by that noun or pronoun that is called the subject of that verb okay and if your subject is present before the verb then of course that verb is in the active voice and if your verb uh is done by someone who is not present before verb then your verb will be in the passive form so easy ami banglay bole dichhi je kaaj kore she verb er age thakle active je kaaj kore she verb er age na thakle shetake passive bola hocche for example cricket played is played in the field here you see in this sentence cricket kintu khelche na cricket onno keu khelche tar ullekh kintu verb er age nei that's why is played is a passive verb probably you understood these two questions and you will have to find out the answer correctly otherwise it will be so tough for you next you will get this verb okay then if your verb is non finite what will be then then there will be three changes only অনেক কঠিন করে বোঝার কিছু নেই শুধুমাত্র মনে রাখবে যে নন ফাইনাইট হলে তখন তোমাকে তিন ধরনের পরিবর্তন হবে এক টু প্লাস ভি ওয়ান হবে একটা ভি থ্রি হবে আর একটা ভার্ভের সাথে আইনজি যোগ হবে এই তিনটার বাইরে কোনো পরিবর্তন হবে না হ্যাঁ আর হয়তো আছে সেগুলো আসলে যেমন পারফেক্ট পার্টিসিপেল আছে তো সেগুলো আমি এখানে আনতে চাচ্ছি না তো ঠিক আছে তাহলে আমরা দেখে নিই যে তিনটা পরিবর্তন কি কি একটা হচ্ছে টু প্লাস ভি ওয়ান যেটাকে বলা হচ্ছে ইনফিনিটিভ যেটাকে কি বলা হচ্ছে ইনফিনিটিভ কখন বসে যখন এই মত বা রিজন হবে যখন উদ্দেশ্য কারণ বা পারপাস তখন আমরা টু প্লাস বি ওয়ান বসাবো ওকে ক্লিয়ার তারপরে আমরা যাচ্ছি ভার্বটা হচ্ছে প্যাসিভ ভার্ব প্যাসিভ কি না নন ফাইনাইট ভার্ব তো আইডেন্টিফাই করেই ফেলেছো এখন তুমি দেখো যে নন ফাইনাইট ভার্বটা অ্যাক্টিভে আছে না প্যাসিভ আছে খুব সহজ কথা নন ফাইনাইট ভার্বের আগে যে শব্দটা আছে সেটা দেখো ওই কাজটা সম্পন্ন করছে কিনা যদি করে তাহলে সেটা অ্যাক্টিভ যদি না করে তাহলে প্যাসিভ খুব সহজ ভার্বটা যদি অ্যাক্টিভ হয় প্যাসিভ হয় তাহলে ভার্বের পাসপোর্ট স্কুল ফর্ম ইউজ করবে 
আর ভার্বটা যদি অ্যাক্টিভ হয় তাহলে আইএনজি যোগ করবে একদম সহজ কথা মনে রাখো উদ্দেশ্য বা কারণ বোঝালে টু প্লাস বি ওয়ান ভার্বটা যদি অ্যাক্টিভ হয় তাহলে ভার্বের সাথে আইএনজি যোগ করবে প্যাসিভ হলে ভার্বের পাস পার্টিসিপেল ফর্ম বসাবে সো ইজি আ থিং ওকে তাহলে এই টোটাল মেশিনে তোমার পাঁচটা জিনিস সবচেয়ে বেশি ইম্পর্টেন্ট যে জিনিসটা তোমার সব সময় মাথায় রাখতে হবে নাম্বার ওয়ান টেন্স নাম্বার টু ভার্ব অ্যাক্টিভ না প্যাসিভ নাম্বার থ্রি সেটা নন ফাইনাইট ভার্ব হলে সেটার উদ্দেশ্য বা কারণ বোঝাচ্ছে কি না নাম্বার ফোর সেটা নন ফাইনাইট ভার্বটা অ্যাক্টিভে আছে না প্যাসিভে আছে প্রবলি ইফ ইউ গেট দ্য আনসার ক্লিয়ার তাহলে ইউর আনসার উইল বি অ্যাবসলিউটলি রাইট অ্যান্ড ইউ উইল বি শিওর অফ ইউর আনসার যে কোনো উত্তরের ব্যাপারে তুমি কিন্তু খুব কনফার্ম থাকবে ওকে সো লেটস ইউজ দিস ভার্ভ আমরা প্রথমে আমরা ফাইনাইট ভার্ভটা দেখেছি সো এবার উইল গো ফর দ্য নন ফাইনাইট ভার্ভস দিয়ার অ্যান্ড আমি তোমাদের মেশিনটা এখানে দিয়েই দিলাম সো আই এম জাস্ট গিভিং ওয়ান ভার্ভ ইজ দিয়ার আই ওয়েন টু মার্কেট বাই আ নিউ ড্রেস সো লুক অ্যাট দ্য ভার্ভ দিয়ার দেয়ার ইজ নো কনজেংশন ইন দিস সেন্টেন্স সো অ্যাবসলিউটলি দিস দিস ইজ আ নন ফাইনাইট ভার্ভ কারণ একটা সেন্টেন্সে দুইটা ফাইনাইট ভার্ভ উইদাউট কনজাংশন থাকতে পারে না তাহলে যেহেতু এস দেয়ার ইজ নো কনজাংশন সো অফকোর্স দ্য ভার্ভ ইন দ্য ব্র্যাকেট ইজ আ নন ফাইনাইট ভার্ভ অ্যান্ড নাও দ্য কোয়েশন হোয়াট উইল বি দ্য আনসার যে কোনো এই তিনটা যে কোনো একটা উত্তর হবে আই দ্যার ইট টু প্লাস বি ওয়ান হবে অথবা ভার্ভ প্লাস আইনজি যোগ হবে অথবা বি থ্রি হবে সো সিম্পল অ্যান্ড ইউ অ্যাস ইউর সেলফ নাও এখন তুমি প্রশ্ন করো ইউ প্লিজ রাইট ডাউন দ্য আনসার টু বাই ইয়েস দ্যাটস গুড ওয়ান্ডারফুল <clears throat> you are writing the answer. Thank you very much. Probably some of you have the very clear conception about this about this uh, machine, right? So that's good. And each and everyone has to understand it, right? Yes, uh, the probably your answer that you are writing absolutely correct answer because AJ Ami market jachi keno. What's the reason? Why am I going to market? And my purpose is to buy a new dress. That's why a buy shop that I would say Uddesho va karun bujhatshe. For example, if I give more examples like that, I went to the field bracket to play cricket. Tha holi ki ho abe to play cricket. I went to a library bracket to borrow books. Tha holi ki ho abe to borrow books. You attend, you join the, join this group. Uh, uh, learn English. That's why you have you join this group to learn English. Okay, so probably you get that. The shop jaga amader udeshoba karan bojhat se. That's why amader two plus b one bosha bosha. So simple thing. Okay, then I will go for another example. Is there another exercise? Is there I saw my friends uh, buy a new dress. I saw my friends buy a new dress. So look at this sentence here. You say there is no conjunction, and there are two verbs in this sentence. So one will be finite, another one will be non-finite verb. Okay, as there is already the finite verb as you see. So and now the question: This is a non-finite verb, and we will have to use it correctly. So your options: You have three options in front of you. Two plus b one have a verb is the ing jog have a or b three have a. সো হুইচ ওয়ান টু প্লাস বি ওয়ান হবে না কারণ আমার বন্ধুকে বই কিনতে দেখেছিলাম এটা আমার উদ্দেশ্য না তাহলে এটা হয় ভাবে সেটা আইনজি যোগ হবে নইলে বি থ্রি হবে ওকে এখন দেখতে হবে সেটার জন্য আমাদের ভাবটা অ্যাক্টিভ না প্যাসিভ ওকে সো লুক দ্য ভার্ভ ইজ ইন দ্য প্যাসিভ অর অ্যাক্টিভ সেটা আইডেন্টিফাই করার জন্য এই ভার্ভের আগের শব্দটাকে আমরা লক্ষ্য করব আই সো মাই ফ্রেন্ডস তাহলে মাই ফ্রেন্ডস বাইর আগে আছে মাই ফ্রেন্ডস তাহলে মাই ফ্রেন্ডস কিন্তু এই কেনার কাজটা করছে তার মানে এই ভার্ভটা ইন দ্য অ্যাক্টিভ ফর্ম ওকে দ্যাটস ওয়াই ইউর ভার্ভ প্রবলি ইউ হ্যাভ গট দ্য আনসার ইয়েস ইউর আনসার ইজ অ্যাবসলিউটলি রাইট আনসার অ্যান্ড থ্যাংক ইউ বাইং ইজ দ্য অ্যাবসলিউটলি কারেক্ট আনসার অফকোর্স ইউর আনসার ইউ হ্যাভ আন্ডারস্টুড ইট রাইট নেক্সট ইফ আই গিভ ইউ <coughs> One more sentence is there. My friend lost the dress by from the market. Okay. And you get it here? You please write it down. So my friend lost the dress. Here you see by is a non-finite verb because there is two verbs. One is lost and the one is by, but there is no conjunction. That's why by is a non-finite verb. Okay. And non-finite verb hole, I'm at the rate in the hobby, two plus we want to hold channel at a bar, the whole of our fish at the end of the job of a V3 hobby, the whole amrita calculo by Ragish of the key at the dress. The whole dress to me, the king chena, it on no cooking chay, that's why this verb in the passive form, I want amrita, also passive form, the past principle form is called, right? Probably you are writing the answer. Yes, your answer is correct. Absolutely. Bot is your right answer. So be careful about the spelling of bot and brought. Brought the word comes from the word bring, B-R-I-N-G, 
and by the past participle form the verb is bought b o u g h t okay so your answer is correct and then the fourth number sentence is before you please find out the answer buy a new dress is always a fun so here you see in the bracket there is a verb buy and also there is another verb that is is so absolutely your verb is in the bracket that is uh, uh, that is a non-finite verb and your non-finite verb uh, is will be there as a, as been used at there as a subject right so subject and that subject amra jokhon jani verb jodi kokhono subject er jaygay thake subject er jaygay bracket e thake tokhon she verb ta ke ashole noun banate hoy ki banate hoy noun so noun banate hole amra verb er sathe ing jog korte hobe amader ki korte hobe we have to add ing then tahole verb er sathe she verb er sathe amader ing jog korte hobe ebong ing jog korar pore eta ki hobe bolo to eta ki hobe ing jog korar pore buying ing jog korar pore eta hocche je uh, act a gerund hobby, G E R U N D, gerund one of the verb plus ing juk to shop to Jokon for a sentence and now he shall catch for it upon the gerund bullet. Our Jokon verb plus ing juk to shop to Jokon for a sentence as it is a catch for it upon Shetakola present participle. Probably it's clear to you, right? You, you have got all of your answers and your answers are correct. Thank you. The first answer is to buy and the second answer buying and the third answer is bought your answer is correct and fourth one you see here your answer is buying b-e-y-i-n-g so be careful about the spelling of buying b-e-y not b-y-i-n-g okay so uh, now i will go for some of the very silly examples of these right use of verbs and probably you know all of your answers and then you will as first as possible possible you will please write down the answer write down the answer <coughs> quick The earth dash round the sun. It is slow. YouTube is taking on a connect to slow. Hoy, after that, I uh, just a borrow it to that. I like her uh, and there you see the earth dash round the sun. There are three options are there one is move, and the one moves, and the one moved. So you will have to write it down. Yes, I have got your answers and that's great. Congratulations. Your answer is absolutely right. Moves. Another question, why moves? So easy a, a question, of course, but you will have to understand it because you need to explain the answer to yourself. Why your answer is correct? Your answer is correct because this is a habitual fact, universal truth, right? This is an universal, uh, universal truth. And there you see that tense is the present indefinite tense and whenever your tense is present indefinite then you have to add yes or yes after the present form of the verb if your subject is third person singular number as you see the art is third person singular number yes you have to add yes or yes after that verb that's why your answer moves is the right answer okay good i'll go for the next question there my friends does the prime minister yesterday my friend uh, my friends does the prime minister yesterday you uh, please write down the answer and uh, yesterday that is a tense indicating word as you see yesterday I go long since last it is high time it is time we shall fancy yes your answer is correct then the next question is before you uh, this is a bit tough okay so you just read it carefully and find out the answer I dash him only one letter up to now one is sent s e n t the word comes from the word send s e n d so she can take a and you see have sent and send is the word so you please write down the answer b is the right answer have sent going for the next questions here you see she dash worried about something she dash worried about something here your options are looks looking and is looking okay so you please find out the answer which one you think is correct okay, let's see the answer your answer looks is right because there are some verbs that is called uh, uh, verb of senses Amra, we have five senses as you know uh, see look feel okay uh, so either verb actually continuous form to use for a preferable noise that's why your answer looks is correct there are looks like so that's why your answer is correct thank you and then the next question before you it started to rain while we play tennis while we play tennis here in the sentence we see the conjunction that is while and after while we know uh, the verb will be past continuous tense 
and it is in the active form that's why you will use simply past continuous tense word word plus word plus ing and your answer is absolutely right so b is the right answer so those who have written down b congratulations